Bienvenidos, welcome back everybody, back here, uh, right here on Chips Tooth Gaming, uh, completely consensual, with my man, I'm just looking at you, I don't know what you're doing, but I'm gonna go ahead and still introduce you to Mike, Supercuts, Doherty. Big Blue's back, alright! <laughs> you were waiting for that, okay, that's why you're doing that face. Uh, and then we got my man already here, Sean, Black History Month, boop boop, Yeah, Flowers. what's up, how y'all doing? He said boop boop, <laughs> boop boop, boop boop, boop boop, <laughs> I don't no, know. I didn't say Apex. Like, you know, I'm doing, no, I, I went straight to no, Apex. That's a little racial now. <laughs> I was thinking right. Apex. But let's go ahead. And our sponsor, Black History Month. <laughs> Big Blue. Uh, as always, the guy back there, Dombo. Dombo, what's up? What's up? What's up? Mr. TV himself. Exactly. <laughs> what's up? So, yeah, guys, we're back here. Another episode. <laughs> Thanks for everybody listening, watching, all that good stuff. Um, eventful weekend I know you guys had. I want to just recap that real quick because um, we had some good stuff happening last week. Cheeks over here hosted kind of funny with the boy Tim Geddes. Killed it, watched it, talked you about boy. Nintendo. Awesome. Boy. Looking all cute. Uh, <laughs> and then I know you guys also went to that kind of funny uh, meet and greet up in San Francisco. Uh, I wasn't able to go to my toilet broke. Um, literally, he broke his toilet. Literally, my toilet dumps broke. Too unfortunately, big. It was mega dumps. <laughs> Dropping loads to a whole new Super level. Bowl's Unfortunately, but late. I know you guys went. I know you guys had a good time. I don't know if you guys want to talk about that real quick of how that went, how that experience was. It was a good fucking time. I mean, I had a, I had a, yeah. I had a ton of fun. Um, yeah. It was just meeting some people. Eli Shaw was there. Get Old Games Old, which is our new uh, bi mon biweekly Monday podcast of uh, retrospective. Let's see what you did there. He's there <laughs> hanging out. Let's see what you did there. Um, yeah, so it, it was fun. It was cool that he was there because I kept pimping my like his shit. Pimping his shit? So. Yeah. We, but he, it's our shit, right? I feel yeah. like so here's the thing. So I, I kept going up to people. I was like, "Hey, man, you should t you, you should check out Eli's shit. It's really awesome. So like, it's on this channel, Chip Dude Gaming. You should yeah. like and subscribe. It benefits nobody. Yeah. Else you went in like that? Yeah. 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 I was doing like that to hella people. Because I mean, I feel like you, <laughs> you un to hella people. You unintentionally like call them the hoe because you pimped them out. You unintentionally. Oh, it's all good, dude. You, you home before? You get used to it. I'm a hoe. I'm definitely a hoe. Yeah, you are actually. I'm no I'll doubt about that. Myself out all over. But so hey, I know you were making moves. Flowers, you had a good time. I, you know, at first I was honestly I was a little nervous. You know, I walked into the nervous? sea of just people. I had no idea. <laughs> sea of people, I don't. I know. haven't really watched kind of funny, so like I didn't even know to expect yeah. just meeting the guys. So like it was only all new for sure. And then I walked in. You know, Mike was pimping me out when I first walked Ooh, in. You know, I walked so. in. He was all like, "Hey, you know, oh my, my name's Cheeks." And was, of course, they already knew who Cheeks was. And it was really? like, "Why don't you do some kind cool. of funny?" I was like, "Okay, you fucking." What's up? <laughs> <laughs> walking around with Michael Jordan here now. <laughs> But, I'm, just, I'm just glad you didn't bring out your alter ego. Um, double D? Double D. I'm could've, glad you didn't bring him out. Could've. I'm, I'm glad sure you didn't bring him off real easily. I know. Yeah, yeah, you could've popped that I'm glad real quick. <laughs> could've done it. But that's cool. You guys had a good time. It was fun. Yeah, yeah. No, I couldn't. I couldn't cool you know, networking. let Mikey outshine me. So, you know, I had to okay, first step of all, it up. Yeah, no, it was awesome. I was, it was like, a good time. Awesome. Every time Mikey, Mikey introduced me to someone, I was like, okay, hey, me too. Hey, my name is. And then, like, I would have just get into myself in the way. It was I dope. It was dope. Sean carried his fucking weight because if that was me, I would be like kind of like off the side, like no, big. I ain't no Sean bitch. Sean popped his head <laughs> in. He was like, I, I was about what's to good? <laughs> like, no what's bitch, up? exactly. Also, at the end of the night, yeah, uh, uh, Tim's brother, his name's Cool Greg. Yeah, uh, it's gonna be legally changed to Cool Greg eventually. Is it really gonna yeah, be changed to Cool Greg? Greg? Um, All but right. so <laughs> Cool Greg's just a cool guy, right? Like a little graffiti artist. Mm. Like he's just like he's. If you think cool, he's cool, right? So I'm standing in this, <laughs> cool in this circle. It's Cool Greg. <laughs> it's Sean. It's my boy A Rock. Uh, it's a couple other people. I didn't really get their Damn. names. He has his boy uh, A Rock. They're all talking about hip hop, right? And I'm just okay. like, yeah. <laughs> I felt Speaking like a of, man. I was just so lost. <laughs> I gotta bring this in because he What's brought up? it up. Um, up? So we had the uh, dinner right before this, right? We're on our way to go to Beeps, to and Beeps. then. Mikey's like, don't you open up that window? Singing that, right? And I'm yeah. like, oh, for sure, Mikey. That, cool. Yeah. I, I called to cut him out. I had to call him out. I was, I was like, like, hey, Mikey, <laughs> who sings this song? Who, who, how do you know this? How, who do you sing? He's like, oh, yeah, you know, that, that white guy yeah, with Mikey's the hair. A liar. That white <laughs> guy with the, the hair. The looking ass. The, and I was like, who? And he goes a little bit deeper. He's like, yeah, yeah, that Post Malone guy. And I'm like, you're thinking Post Malone sings Antidote. <laughs> And I was like, you don't even know Travis Scott. I was like, oh, my God. And, yeah, that's, he that's his level. Though. You know, it's okay. But that, that's so, how I felt in the circle. I was like, so cool. I, I didn't know. Like, it was like all this cool energy bouncing back off each other. They're all debating shit. I'm just like, F yeah, fuck what, what he says. I'm with him. Yeah. I'm, I'm, next time, if there funny. ever is a next time, I'm for sure going to be there. I'll make there sure will my be totally a doesn't break. And you will be there. I appreciate that. No. I appreciate when you be there. All right? I need you there. <laughs> 
<laughs> awesome. Uh, I'm glad everybody had a good weekend. Uh, I know we kind of had a good, cool weekend. Uh, any time for games? What you guys been playing? No? You want to go? Oh, I mean, because I know he was talking directly to me. I mean, you, I, I, was first, I, was, I was playing. Um, of course, I've been playing a lot of Jump Force. You, Fucking You crazy. got excited. Huh? You were telling me right before what, what's going to happen with Jump Force. Jump Force. Get oh, right so, into it. Get right into it. How you going to ask me what I'm playing and talking about getting ready? <laughs> so, I've been into Jump Force a lot. Um, if you guys know what Jump Force is, the new kind of like anime fighting game made by the same people that made J Stars or the little Mario Hero game that was out. Um, but <clears throat> made by them, and it's a really fucking fun game. Just got into it. Um, came out last Friday. The 15th, right? 15th. Officially the 15th. If you pre ordered it, you get it a little bit earlier. And the fucking DLC characters, they have nine DLC characters coming nine. out. Nine. Are they are Jesus they doing Christ. that? Are the nine DLC, are they doing it all in once or are they going to spread it out like 333? Three, three, three? I don't know if they're going to do three at a time, one at a time. Uh-huh. Honestly, I wouldn't be mad if they do one at a time based off the way the game is playing. Like, with the 40 something characters it has right now, like, I'm honestly, like, content with, like, the content. Because there's yeah. always is my new boy shit. Aang in there? He doesn't even know anime. Shut the mic. Almost. He almost made it. But. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I want to look this up too. So yeah, go ahead. The nine right. DLC characters. Um, so I mean, I had it on my phone, but I lost the list. So off the top <laughs> of my head, <laughs> we got uh, it was semi like, accurate news. Somewhat accurate, like it's it's almost there. Ship two gaming. We got from my hero. You got like that the All Might, of course. Knew he was coming. We had Bakugo. Andres so kind to put up the list for me. Yeah. We got Seto Kaiba from Yu Gi Oh. Got another card dueler out there, so you know it's really got Part of the cards, people were telling. No, no. I, I mean, quick side note. I didn't mean to cut you off, and I'm sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. But they were no. saying that Yugi is actually like an OP character. Yugi nice as shit. <laughs> okay, so I ain't gonna lie. No can't cap. confirm. Can't confirm. <laughs> no he's cap, dope as shit. Nice as shit. <laughs> All right, go go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Um, got a couple Bleach characters. Got you know Grimjaw, which I'm hyped about, and Hootsugaya, which is my favorite character in actual anime. So you already know I'm hyped. Oh, dude, I hope they my release boy, him first. Hoops a guy. Hitsugaya. He's the dude. What'd know. you call him? Hipsugai? <laughs> Hips your guy? That's cute. <laughs> oh my god. Um sorry guys about that. Biscuit That's from Hunter x Hunter. Mm. Fucking Boo from Dragon Ball Z. If anyone talked to me, I, I called this out. I predicted Boo. Boo. Yeah. Boo would be one of the characters. Which one though? It, well, it just is Boo. Sure. Huh? The ghost. I, I mean from Mario. <laughs> I'm expecting I wouldn't be I hope for a fat boo, but I wouldn't be mad if it was kid boo, like I would understand. Yeah, that. kid boo. And then we got Madara Uchiha from Naruto, and then Law from One Piece. Um, I'm kind of mad they put in Madara. Yeah, I feel like that yeah. was a waste of time. Kind of redundant, like as a character. Like if you guys play the game, like you'll see why. Like even though he's a cool character, yeah, he's popular. Yeah, he's you know what I'm saying a big like antagonist in the series. In Jump Force, there's just no place for him. Like there's nothing he can do, or at least I can think of off the top of my head that like another character in the game wouldn't do. So like. It's like having an echo fighter. True. Okay. Why not Aang? Why isn't Aang? Why Aang would be dope. List? Aang would be dope. I don't know. You should go write a letter to them. I've to write a letter and be like, hey, guys. Yeah, take it to the media, bro. I, hey, Jump I, Force. I heard, it, I, I heard it got nominated for the Weebies. Oh, my God. Are you serious? <laughs> Couldn't keep a straight year. face after that one, huh? <laughs> the Weebies? They, didn't the Weebies. Have the, they, they had the anime awards, too. I totally forgot like who the won. The country roll. I forgot who won. Though. Yeah, I know. I know My Hero won a lot. but Oh, I think you, you the mean the one that like Sean hits you up to go to and you didn't respond to? Yeah, I remember Was that the shit. one? I thought that was something else. I don't remember. It's Crunchyroll Awards or whatever. Nani? Either way, Nani? Do you know what that means? <laughs> if you watch anime, you got to know what Nani means. I Weep? say that too much. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool. It's all good, guys. Um, What about you, Mikey? What you been playing? Um, Been playing Apex. Apex. I'm with you on that. I've, I've, I just got to bump in. Yeah, go ahead. I've gotten into it. I started playing it a little bit more. I'm into it. Played a couple of matches this morning with your boy, Sean So Nasty. Yeah, I was, I was nowhere to be found, though, guys. We cool. got did so nasty, though. You didn't miss out on anything. It's cool. Yeah, no, we sucked. So <laughs> you should have invited. Always, I always You should have invited BDT, the Troy Dizzle. I don't, was he on? Troy. I don't, I don't know, know but he doesn't he have the game. Play. But he harassed me. This is for Troy because every time I go to the warehouse and I see him, I'm like, hey, Troy, let's get on this. He doesn't get on. So, so <laughs> just a little thing I had to let him know because he, he never only invites. plays Dead by Daylight. He's dead, dead by Daylight. Yeah. Nobody can cares about that game literally a one game t- i got it like on the like my library I just it's a free game and i downloaded it, it and i still nah, i deleted I it i downloaded it i put it on my library i don't <laughs> even say how i downloaded it downloaded added it to my library and just you know just when in it, case you never know it, right. it's coming to the switch if someone does say oh my god you got this game like in the next like, year or so i'll be like hey you know what yeah it's i got this new the terabyte Fuck don't it. Talking about is it? it yeah dead by daylight mm-hmm. uh, so that's such a bad kids game i've never played this i won't even get it then so um 
But yeah, no, Anthem's good. Um, I, I got the Spider-Man DLC, and I've been meaning to jump into it. Hold on. He, he said, said Anthem. Anthem's good. He said Anthem's good. He hasn't played I'm going to slide past I, that. I got to let it slide, because I know he meant to say Apex. Apex oh, is good. Anthem? You said oh, Anthem. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> We're Be careful. Gonna, no, no, no. Be careful. We're going to yeah. talk about that for sure in the news about Anthem right now, but I just want to know. See what you're playing. Apex is really good. It's really fun. I'm having a good time with it. Still doesn't beat out Fortnite. Fortnite had its hooks in me a little bit more, just in terms of, like, I th- when I left the house, all I could think about was Fortnite for, like, the longest time. And then That's now... All- it's like Apex is like it's fun. I'm not thinking about it all the time. Though. That's a little bit how I am though. I f- I'm I'm loving Apex. Apex is super cool. Rainbow Six fun. had the same effect on me. I, I enjoyed Rainbow Six better than I enjoy Apex. How many games have you played of Apex though, Mikey? Dude, well, by the when I played with them, zero because he sucks. Yeah, but that was the first time I ever played. <laughs> how long? Like was that yesterday or the day before? Yesterday. No, no. I played with you yesterday. Yeah, but I, I that wasn't my first time. Oh, either. Hmm, that's what she said. So in other words, you're new to the game. I'm newer, but like I've played a good like 50 he's, matches. He's still new. Hey, question. Me too. I'm still who's, trash. who's your main? Who's mine? Yeah. Lifeline all day. Yeah. Bumba clap. See, that's why I went to Bumba clap because you know Apex. You know how you have the lifeline. Mm-hmm. You know, she's straight up. She's she the best. Bumba clap. I'm gonna let it slide. She's Jamaican me I'm gonna crazy. I'm gonna let it slide. Jamaican <laughs> me crazy. <laughs> I need slide. healing. I could just go off for <laughs> this. There was like I, I, I'm, I went a whole match speaking like that, who's and your, I felt really bad. <laughs> who's your main now? Is your main still the same at uh, Tumble? Yeah, Wraith. Wraith. Yeah, yeah, she's one. There's a fun. I, I'll show you a picture at the end of this fucking Wraith. Uh, I think it's like dude. A I, so I have the bald one. I have the bald skin. Oh no way. Yeah. Damn, so she's so bald, bald like and everybody just calls her like Caillou. <laughs> oh, she dead. looks like Caillou. Yeah. <laughs> I'm dead. But it's cool. I mean, Apex for for me, it's a game. Like you said, I'm, I'm I want to play. Keep, it's getting me hooked. Um, it scared me a little bit. I mean, I don't know. We could kind of go straight into it a little bit about the news about Anthem. Because I heard th- about a little bit of Apex news. Apex is very cool. They got a new gun. I know they're already talking about new characters and all that good stuff. And I'm all with it. I'm all for it. I'm going to eat it up. Um, it depends how long I play Apex, depending how good Anthem is. And we'll get into Anthem a little bit because I know uh, the reviews came out. and We'll talk about the reviews and all that kind of conversation. I but Anthem. I still want to give love to Apex because right now it's, th- it's that game for me. It's Apex that game. is good. I've just been so busy with Jump Force. I haven't had time to really sink my teeth in it like I did yeah. with Fortnite, which is why I think Mikey's in the same spot. Like, you're still filling out the game, you know, learning. I don't even know the map. Like, I couldn't even, like, if oh, on the jump the zone, like, I'd really have to look at every zone yeah. still. Like, I couldn't just the high see it off the top of my head. So, yeah. like, I'm not there yet. So You will one day. One day, you know. We should all play, I know it's man. really good. It's a dope game. Good dubs. I'm the Pathfinder, you know. I will show you the way. Do you know the way? Do you know the way? I will, I'll show you. You know what I'm saying? That's my that's my character type. I recently found out you can fucking grapple people to you. Yeah. That's dope. That's dope. That's pretty cool. I fucking grappled someone. Bum, 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 I don't have a weapon, bum, bum, so I punched him in the face. all day. I Who, died, though. Who's the airdrop guy? He's my man. Airdrop guy. Yeah. Airdrop. Calls them bombs. There's two of them. Oh, oh the, the big the shield, one. Right? Oh, yeah. peanut butter cups. Tambo, Tambo Jr. Tambo Sr. Tambo Sr. Tambo Sr. Tambo Sr. Tambo Sr. Yes. Tambo <laughs> Tambo senior. Tambo senior. <laughs> Tambo senior. Hey, actually, I've been using that guy because I got like 100 kills with Wraith, so I've been I switched to him now. Dude, I'm like at I'm thinking I'm close to 400 on Lifeline, so I'm like I need to switch. Yeah, I, I switched over like once I hit like the 100 mark, I was like I'm gonna switch somebody over. It's cool to play around, but I just love medic. I love the 1050 mark, and I just like oh like. I can't keep killing people, <laughs> so I switched over to him. You're so such like, a god, I'm like dude. Three now. You're a god. Mikey's bro. so trash. <laughs> 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 I didn't want to tell you guys a story because this man is so bad. How bad is he? Tell the man. Look, let him know. Let him know. So <laughs> we're looting, right? This is Mikey's favorite part, by the way. Looting, right? He's looting. Don't tell me he's that teammate. He'll just, be all like, "Guys, yeah. we're doing so good." He says nine nine squads left. Mind you, we haven't seen a soul. All right, <laughs> guys, we're doing so good. We've been alive for so long. No, five so squads good. left. Bro, we're good. There's no loot. There's no good loot over here though. But we're we're doing really good. We'll pack out. This was Mikey. All right, this morning yeah, 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 I, I made him say we'll pack out every time he left because every time they leave, I just get lost and left behind. God. Mikey stays getting lost. I've never once seen Mikey behind me this entire game. <laughs> like I don't know where he was, <laughs> but he was never behind me and the other guy we were playing with. Was it Kyle? Yeah, Kyle. Shout, shout out to Kyle. He was never behind us. And then he'd be like, "Oh my God, they're over here." And we're like, "Where? Mark it." He's like, "Oh my God." I'm like Mike. Use your shield. He's the uh, the Samoan well, dude, right? Is, yeah, He's Samoan. like shield. <laughs> drops you have dead. a shield. <laughs> it drops dead. I'm like Mikey, Mikey. Oh god, 50 matches in, you still don't know. It's cool. It's crazy. Yeah. I mean, it could be worse. Like uh, we got just him. You know, uh, I was with uh, the homie Jonas. Uh, me and him were playing. We had a third, random third, one kill, damage dealt three. 
literally just three damage dealt. I don't know how that's possible, but we won. Maybe he was close Wait, to hey, who, who was he playing? Who was he playing? Uh, the warrior chick. Hey, you know she. Wakanda chick. I heard her smoke does damage. Mm. No, no, no. It just like it disrupts. I think. Oh, it disrupts, yeah, oh okay. Yeah, I don't think it does damage. All right, but so how do you get three damage? I don't know, dude. They're I honestly don't know. You must have gotten like a far shot he away. He sneezed like. on somebody <laughs> in the game. <laughs> <laughs> he sneezed on somebody, but I don't care. Me and John he like, cut that he like shoulder bumped them or something, you know, like. But your boy ended with nine kills, you know. Uh, Andreas is the shit. You know, I, 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 I'm you, not afraid to admit it. I am pretty good at that <laughs> game. So, <laughs> so uh, the love for Apex deserves it. I want to make sure yeah. we talk about it in the podcast. Uh, and we can kind of go into the gaming news of the Rocky not the glamour stuff that I want to talk about. About Apex? I heard they added not fucking... Not Apex, but go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, no. What are we talking about? Apex? I want to talk about Anthem now. Okay. I want to talk yeah. about... News, but, you know... Tell me what's good with Anthem. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Since we're on the subject of Apex, what was the thing you heard? Because I don't even know what you're talking about. What you hear? I heard Apex. <laughs> they're adding fucking uh, wall running. Yes. I heard. Well, just like... Now. It was just like fucking um, Titanfall then. Titanfall, you wore it. Yes, so. I'm about it. It'll make know. it faster traversal, especially when you're in the caves. Kind of when you're in the caves. Yeah. Like it right in the middle of those caves, kind of makes it easier. But eh. I mean, travel wise, sure. But in as combat, long as I feel like that should get it. It's some tra- jump packs and shit too. You're shut the fuck up, Mikey. <laughs> <laughs> if it's trial and error, I'm cool with it. Like if they try it out, it's okay. People like it, keep it. If they don't, take it out. I'm cool with that. As long as they kind of do the Fortnite style of experimenting. Yeah. Hey, here it is. Cool. Limited time. Cool. We'll take it back out. I'm cool with that. If they try it out. I mean, I guess if it's a permanent, like hey, here I it hope, is, then fuck me. I, I hope that's what it is. If it is, come to that. Hmm. I'm scared. Well, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, they release it and let us know about it. What did you hear about a, a Anthem? Though? Anthem, though. This is what I want to talk about. No, 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 no. I'm scared, man. Uh, Anthem, the reviews are coming out. A lot of reviews. It comes out for everybody on Friday, correct? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, uh, Friday. Yeah. Um, and I'm scared. Um, this is a game that had a lot of hype. Still kind of okay. does. But as obviously, as the closer we get to the release date, those review scores keep coming out. And... <laughs> Thing news comes out. Um, let's go straight to the review of it. I know recently, I think when I wrote this, uh, or not wrote this, when I looked it up, Metacritic had a score of 67. I cheated, Popo. 67 <laughs> Metacritic score. Um, I know, I think IGN recently released theirs at a 6.5. And these are still like reviews in progress. Early review in progress, like, yeah. I hate that we have that shit now. So just release a game and have it be like finished. And like, that's kind even of the- if it's shit, just. Like double down on the shit. You know? I don't think that's bullshit. Reviews and in think, progress. What does yeah, that even review mean? Pro- it means hey, there's end game content. So the end game content means there's hey, a day one patch coming out. So I have to beat the entire game, game to really give it a review. <laughs> like, I can't just start the game. I'm supposed yeah, to enjoy it. Go to the camp. Get my opinion on it. Exactly. Like, as of this, I mean, I guess I can kind of get a rolling review because if you reviewed Fortnite when it came out to Fortnite now, it's two completely different games. Not by that much. Yeah, like it's not even the, it's for, not. Battle Royale wasn't even around. From it, Fortnite? Yeah. From when it began to now it is now? When Fortnite came out, it was just the save the world mode. But yeah, I think so. Okay, we're Very ta- cool. talking about the Battle Royale mode. I know, but that's what I'm saying. Like, if Fortnite just came out and had one review, like, that, that's not accurate to what the game is because now it's got something completely different and their focus is completely different. Yeah. So what I heard was I should wait. To buy Anthem, right? Well, Anthem, yeah. So I mean, <laughs> that's, for, that's for, what I thought. Fortnite I was free at Ooh. least, so you could be like, eh. uh, maybe not, uh, right? Can't lose nothing. But to kind of give you an idea of what Anthem is, Anthem is Bioware's latest game. Uh, it's it's kind of like Mass Effect and Dragon Age. Uh, Anthem is a loot shooter, more akin to Destiny or the Division, consisting of a campaign followed by an extensive post game with bigger and better rewards to collect that are more difficult and bosses to take on. Um, so yeah, the reason why Anthem's a little bit different, obviously, is because you have those uh, javelins that kind of make you feel like Iron Man. And you pay sixty dollars classes, right? All that stuff. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. There's different javelins. You feel like Iron Man. You jump around. There's like that Hulkbuster looking like one in <laughs> regular Iron Man. I accustomed to that a lot, but essentially it's that, you know, again, Destiny like campaign. Then end game is really where the grind starts. So what would they say about Anthem right now? Again, it's just the, it sucks because obviously the reviews aren't helping out, right? And then obviously the news of day one patch. Right. Obviously, we people know about day one patches, right? Day one patches is faster loading screens, things like that. Little bits and pieces just to make sure the launch game is great. The thing about Anthem and the reason why people are like, hmm, I don't know, is that they had a sh- shit ton of a list. They had a huge ass list of, hey, <laughs> these are the day one patches. And it pretty much makes it feel like an incomplete game. Like the people who had early access to Anthem, 
those were pretty much beta testers in a sense. Those are the guys right. really quick say, they hey, for it. they paid for it. Right. And we're like, hey, we need to get this done. And I know I screenshotted a couple of the a couple of the day one patches and then uh, the, this, this is literally on their forum and it says Anthem high level fixes and in general fixes and improvements. And I took like three screenshots and each screenshot is like a list full of stuff. High level fixes. The first thing they want to do is decrease loading times for older disk drives. Fixed many infinite loading screens. I heard that was terrible. That's uh, that's like the, one biggest the biggest one. Thing. The infinite I loading screen happened terrible. in the beta and it's crazy to think that even when people had the early <laughs> access still ran into that. I'm glad they're fixing it for the day one patch, but still, they released essentially an incomplete game where it's like, hey, here's all these well, a game patches. Well, doesn't work a on game older that systems. Good. Sucks. Uh, fixed, multiple, fixed multiple challenges not tracking properly. A number of issues have been fixed that were causing players to disconnect or crash. Another big thing. Another thing where a day one patch is saying, hey, Terrible. Uh, during the beta and even the early access, guys, I know you guys have randomly crashed and the game quit on you. Hey, but you know We're you can't fixing make a that. review yet. You can't have a review. It's a review in yet. progress. Uh, weapons in progress. and gear now have numbers present for modifiers. Again, all these general like these patches and crazy stuff like this. Like there's missions or bosses. It makes me very scared. I know last week we talked about um, we hype for a game. That. I know last week we talked about like a hype for a game that just disappointed you. You know, a yeah, game that had so yeah. much hype and it just disappointed in you. I'm scared that Anthem's gonna fall into that category. I really am. I mean, you won't if you wait. <laughs> I can't. That I'm not be, that guy. I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> I can't be that guy to talk shit about these games because I love these games. Did it's, you pre-order? It sucks. No, I, didn't, I think I did. See, you think, I think you I did? did? I don't know. And what kind of statement is that? Because I, I, there was one day there was a contest at the work and claim what you owe. Nah, don't try to. I'm gonna it. get a day one though, no matter what. I'm gonna get, whether I pre-ordered or not. I'm still gonna cop day one. All right. Because right. I. Played too much Destiny D1, D2, and I played. I know too much of this grinding game kind of. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna get it. Still, I see. I feel like games are really moving away from speaking to me. I mean, it's still great that we get like a Spider-Man, God of War, things like that that really speak to me. Mm-hmm. But like, it's these games where I'm just like, fuck. So something like Fortnite, I'll be like, fuck it, I'll try it, and it will get me in because it's free and it's like really <laughs> no like. Like no barrier, like entry yeah. level the barrier, like to to get past. So, um, yeah, these these games to me are just like complete. Like, I I can't do it. I can't do. There's too many of them, and when I found out Anthem is just another one of those, then yeah. it's just like, ugh. like I I'm, I'm not excited for it. I was never excited for it. I saw it coming though. Like it's EA, and like I could see why they would run into these issues. I, I don't know. I, me personally, it's just not my my cup of tea. It sucks because you're you're right. I mean, I had high I had hope for it because again, Bioware people made Mass Effect, all those guys. I'm hyped for it because I love those games, and for them to kind of dip their toes into this whole like, hey, uh, grind game and RPG, I, I was excited. Loot shooter, loot shooter game. There you go. I lost my word on that. Um, but again, like a loot shooter type game, I'm all up for it because that's what I want to play. And I was excited that Bioware's into it, and I had them excited as well. It's Bioware. They they know what they're doing. They're good. They're good. They made Mass Effect one, two, three. Let you do you, boo. I've heard. Guess a lot. what? Nope. <laughs> I was kind of wrong. I, I I have a better question. What was For it? Rev- with games, we have more and more games like this. Uh, you see it with Fortnite. You see it with Apex. You see it with um fucking Tetris ninety nine. You see it with all these fucking Tetris games, fucking right? ninety nine. All these online battle royale games. <laughs> Um, Are we talking about Battle Royale? Are we talking about Anthem? I'm confused. Which, well, he, like uh, yeah. online shooters, loot shooters, Battle okay. Royale. Like they're, okay. they're, 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 I, they kind of are crossing over now into like the same kind of ball of just online shooter and slash the uh, fucking... I <laughs> 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 got the wheels are slipping here. It's all good. Uh, the Battle Royale games. Yeah. Um, but the the thing is, is like as a reviewer, how do you tackle that? Do you do a review in progress where it's different a, a week in, or do you do do you wait a couple months to actually review the game? What, like I I don't understand like what what the proper way to review something is. I would I would like to assume it's uh, the review is updated according to every patch. Yeah, but. I, I think that would make more sense. No, because it, that's that's kind of bullshit. Though. Why would I have to wait until they f- start fixing the game for me to give a review? I yeah. I yeah, I agree. So I I think s- s- from the beginning on, you just completely update it. I think that would be the route to go. Update it every patch. 
right? And then do a review after every patch. Yeah, and like update the review after every but patch. Desert Case is a review in progress forever. Essentially, right? right? Like, you're that, never going to never end. Yeah, I, I mean, like but if you have a game like Fortnite, that never fucking ends. I mean, you can sum up Fortnite though. Like, you could. Of course, the game is going to add on, but that's part of the review. They add on to it. It's a game of service. You know, and it gets better and better though. And they they, they switch I mean, that's, it up. That's, and then that's subjective though. But then the, the, there's a big difference though because obviously reviews well, all are all reviews are subjective. Well, rev- no, exactly, they're subjective, and I the mean, companies, right? Fortnite serves more to the community, the fans, what they want. They don't go, hey, you're an actual review, legit paper writer. Let me see what you think. Let me change my game for you. No, they don't give a shit. They're gonna be like, hey, these guys want wall writing on fucking Apex, but the uh, the actual it, proper I mean, IGN's like, nah, fuck that. They're gonna listen to the community. So I feel like that's why there's a little bit of a difference, and that's why the review in progress is more of a general like, hey, this is a good game, buy it, or hey. Wait on it. Wait on it till the patches come out and, and stuff that's like that. Just so the bias. Reviews. I feel like every review are has always like needed, though. Reviews are a needed. general substance of okay, you get, you get Fortnite. This is what you're gonna get. You're gonna get a shooter. You're gonna get a platformer. You're mm-hmm. gonna have to build. You're gonna get a battle royale. Still Rio. subjective though. At the end of the day. But I hey, mean, obviously, what, there's always a bias in whether that person who's reviewing likes or dislikes the game. But I feel like reviews should always have the substance, the foundation of what you're gonna get. Like in general, when you start the game. I agree, but no. something like Destiny One or Destiny Two Don't completely different from like right now. Like well, uh, Destiny Two when it came out was probably a seven, right? And then Destiny Two now, probably like an eight, mm-hmm. right? Destiny One when it came out probably a like a six, right. and Destiny One right. when it ended was probably like a nine eight. Destiny One, but Destiny he- One, in my opinion, it was I played all three years. Mm-hmm. In my opinion, it was a consistent game like yes they added new weapons yes they have obviously fixed weapons nerfs weapons balance bosses, okay. raids all that stuff but from from dlc to dlc from year to year like it wasn't like i played year one and year two came around like now i'm playing fucking a whole new fucking destiny like shit's different i'm moving different like I, no I, mm-hmm. I i can see I gotcha, that I, I i can see that i can see like i guess fortnite is really the only one who's ever done that like a complete Hey, this is a fucking completely <laughs> different game, dog. Yeah, for I mean, again, uh, it definitely changes. But I think reviews help out a lot of people who are trying to get into loot shooters or trying to get into fighting. Reviews are for sure essential to whatever any game. I'd rather have reviews, reviews in progress rather than having no review. Because, again, obviously we know what we're getting into. I know what I'm getting into when I get Anthem because I know what a loot shooter feels and what it is. A review in progress that says, hey, if you're familiar with, uh, loot shooter games definitely pick up Anthem if you're not this is not the game for you try a different game out a reviews review. are definitely needed and all that but again it it, it sucks because <laughs> it's on Anthem and I was I was hyped for Anthem I still am and it just sucks you that don't these sound reviews too hyped anymore. I, I'm still gonna cop day one like I said I'm, I'm ad- I am addicted to like these loot shooters I want the best game I want to have fun playing with the squad I know a, a lot of my friends are getting Anthem and I know I'm gonna play with them I know I'm gonna have fun regardless even if it's a bad game because I'm gonna be with the squad it's just I wish the day one patches were like not that big of an issue. I wish they didn't have three pages full of day one patches. Sure, like you're gonna get the game day one. You're never gonna be able to log into the server. I, no, exactly. exactly. What's gonna happen? You're gonna be like, why can't I play this game? I just spent my money on. The and biggest lie is like, what's the biggest lie? Oh, it's not out yet. Like it's oh early access. Or no, it's no, they this. got fucked up. But it's people, like it's it's fucking out. Like people with the, people with early access got screwed over for sure because they got a game that was beta. Like I the hate. Best thing I can say. What's the best thing you can say about the game? For what? I don't know. I haven't played it. I mean, just off what you've seen, what you've heard. Javelins it all day. Looks, it looks it's like fun. a cool open world Iron Man game. It's a fun game. I, I played the beta. I can speak on it. I mean, okay, it's a yeah. fun game. It's definitely there. Uh, they definitely add things that Destiny doesn't have. But what were things you would change? Are you comparing this to Destiny? A little bit. Is it's it most like Destiny out of everything you played? No. Um, again, it's just, it feels different. It's like a fresh new face, though. So for sure, it feels nice and good. Have you played Lost Planet? That's a weird way to describe it. I'm sorry. Have you played Lost Planet? I played a little bit of it. I know about the game. I know that game was actually really good. Like uh, people were saying, it's a gorgeous. I had game. a buddy of mine who kept saying like it Lost would Planet be, like, Two, that type. Yeah, Lost Planet Two. It'd be like that type of like online type of community as far as what you do and how you'd interact and what you do in the game. Yeah. But like, I never played Lost Planet. I wish I did. It looked dope. Like defeating the monsters, which is essentially what you do in Anthem. But I just don't see how someone could keep doing that for years to come. True. I mean, hopefully it's just a game. Hopefully it's a review in progress. Hopefully there's more patches. Hopefully there's more 
uh, things that they announced to make Anthem better. Because again, if it's at a six, kind of like what Mikey said, right? If the game starts at a six, it could end up being at an eight, seven, depending on how the year goes and how the community feeds back to it and all that good stuff. So I'll take a six and a half. I'll take a 67 Metacritic score. I'll take that. I'll, I'm just going to buy it. Under and it's COVID, it's gonna I'll be take a, better. a six and a half. <laughs> Foot long, baby. A little bit I'll of extra. Um, Wait, no, that's. Yeah, wait, I'm stupid. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> um, no, what is really cool that I like that they're doing that Destiny didn't do is they're not locking you into, like, playing the story multiple times. It's basically your javelin after you're, like, level 30 or 50 or whatever. They start dropping, uh, they stop dropping other, like, loot for other javelins so you're not starting from the ground up. Mm-hmm. Oh. Which is nice. Which is nice, not for sure, because I remember Destiny 1. Oh, hey, my God. Destiny 2. Let me switch over to my hunter. Oh, fuck. Hold on. He's... <laughs> I need to do the Man. campaign. Having to switch over weapons. To the Destiny oh, app. fuck. I left it on my fucking... That was before, like, this time. I know. Actually, Destiny like, 1, people know that game. for sure. D1. D1s, no. D1. Day 1s. Day See, Destiny know about didn't that. get better. It was just the things that Destiny, like, had got better. Oh, so Destiny got better. No. No. <laughs> I hate that. The game still had the same problems. It was just the things that it had got better. You know what I mean? It makes no sense. It, look, it's a deeper thing. I usually deeper agree with you, you but I have your head. <laughs> you sound dumb. It's deeper than you think, all right? Black, that's what she said. Is is Black, that's what she said? I was going to say Black History Month for you, but it's okay. <laughs> I think we got one more week of this for you. No, it's this might be the last Black History Month. Hey. Is it? Hey, it was a good month, though. Uh, look at no, hold on. Don't this be too good sad. Month. He the has one first more. First one excited, aren't we? Got you? One more. <laughs> we got one more for you. We got more for you. So it's all good. One more well, podcast? Right, one more podcast of Black History Month. Dude, yeah, of course. Damn, dude. only if I had a couple more days. Like 31 of them. Oh, I get it. I get it. Because it's the shortest month. Oh, yeah. It's the shortest oh, month. Yeah, that's right. It's all good. So, yeah, I'm excited for Anthem. I'm still going to cop day one, though. So it's Ooh. all good. That was the news for Anthem. I'm still excited. I'll let you guys know how it is next week on the podcast because I know I'm going to play it. Good. We need something to find. If it's good, game. I'm going to play it a lot and you're going to hear me. But if it's not, your boy's hopping back on that Apex Bumble Clock. I need Bumble to look at my what's friends up? to see what's going on. This way. We need to go this way. Fuck it. I got a question for you, bro. What's up, Dumbo? You think they'll cross play Apex? I hope so. but That'd be dope. The, there's that a, there's, would be dope. There is a uh, article that I was reading last week. Um, that was talking about how like they're like indie devs calling out Sony because like yeah, Sony saying oh we're all ready to go nobody's just ever submitted the form for crossplay and then all these indie devs are like what the fuck like we have this game I submitted it to Sony and they said there's no way in hell it's happening <laughs> like back talking <laughs> that's pretty funny so we don't know that that's all on Sony so I'm with it though I feel like Sony's just ready after Fortnite now because I can actually play with Tom but we actually get some dubs yeah. apparently it's a literal switch that they have to flip and then it would make it work for like every game Pretty bro what switch. if I could go flip that switch that'd be dope you know what <laughs> you know what <laughs> switch they need to pull on the the PSN name change the PSN That's name change needs to happen. That was a thing. I thought it's supposed to be a thing. It's supposed to be early spring, or, or not early spring, sorry. It's supposed to be early 2019, and I'm waiting on that because when I was playing Apex the other day, I'll tell you guys a story. I was playing, I was Somebody on Apex. You. Somebody <laughs> disrespected me, man. It hurt. <laughs> but I, mean, I had to, you know, hit pause real quick. So when I was playing Apex, I was the medic, obviously, right? Uh, they died because they're noobs. Um, and then this dude just straight up left. And I'm like, all right, cool. I guess I'm not going to revive you. Two minutes later, little notification. I was like, oh, fuck. This is from this new guy. I opened it up and it said, hey, the one and only bitch. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, fuck. Damn, it wasn't like, even that good of a dunk, though. That's it was, and still, it hurt because I'm pretty sure a six-year-old kid typed out my name, the <laughs> one and only. Bitch. And instead of saying the one Andres, he's like, nah, I'm going to be creative as fuck. <laughs> one and only bitch. bitch and I'm just like yep yeah, gotta hit pause real quick gotta turn it off did you reply <laughs> dude what am I gonna you reply you tug it off what I am I gonna know. do I blocked him for sure I'll, I'm, I'll block a six year old kid fuck this kid. Him. <laughs> why you block him why, why didn't you him? cyber bully him I should no. why didn't you just tell you should have found out his name <laughs> where he been lived like, hey Ligma I should have been like that that's my best comeback hey, right Ligma. now like my it's balls <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, It was pretty bad I, Usually I'm the one Who gets the hate mail too So it's all good I'm used to it I love hate mail <laughs> It's funny um, So yeah That was it for Anthem um, Let's go into Google Because Google is going to be Kind of announcing Something very very big 
Um, I was waiting for Mikey to do the news, 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 news. Uh, no, I mean that was only like when we get into the news. Oh, when we get into it, not I can't, for every. Like, I can't keep like doing. Can't that, do. That's okay. It's kind of annoying, you know, for somebody. Um, but Google is going to be announcing something really exciting, March nineteenth. Uh, the company plans uh, to unveil a mysterious <laughs> gaming project at a game developer conference presentation on March 19th, uh, 1 p.m. Eastern time, with invitations showing just a light at the end of the hallway, followed by a cryptic tagline, Gather Round. Mm-hmm. Gather Round, y'all. Gather Round, y'all. Um, they didn't say anything else, but obviously there's a bunch of speculation. People are going to be using projects. Uh, they're going to be doing a streaming gaming service and most likely using projects stream. Damn, that took a weird way. Uh, likely using Project Stream. And for you guys who don't know what Project Stream is, uh, Project Stream is a video game streaming service that Google is testing. Uh, Google's goal is simple. It wants to make a streaming service that offers top-tier games across a bevy of devices. Netflix for video games, y'all. Exactly what Mikey's saying to explain like I'm five. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be Netflix for games. So subscription based and saying, hey, for ten bucks a month, here's all these games you can play. Essentially, I wanted. I think it would be more than that. I wanted to see if we could try to get into this. So GDC, obviously, ahead, yeah, the no, biggest no, game developer conference um, yeah. in the in the world. That's when all these indie game developers and regular game developers come together, and they like. Um, it's like Apple. It's like one drivers. big orgy just without the sex, you know, just of ideas, I orgy just, of ideas. Um, so they're just, in there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a good I'm way of saying it, though. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so this is interesting. I think this is going to be hardware. I think this is most clearly hardware, um, not just mm-hmm. a streaming service. So I think we are going to see some kind of Google box and uh, money now. Again, this happens March nineteenth. Uh, money on it now. There's going to be a physical media mm-hmm. one and then a digital media one. So they're coming for uh, PlayStation and uh, I th- Xbox. I think it's going to be like, hey, you have a Chrome. Uh, Chromebook or something? Hey, here you go. Just go ahead and download it. Do you guys see like I think the future too. of gaming moving towards like streaming and digital gaming only? I depending honestly, depending how good this goes. If this is truly where Google is going for, where it's like, hey, cloud gaming, subscription based gaming, where it's like Netflix for games. If this turns out to be a hit and people like it and enjoy it and it's really hitting off, yeah, I think a lot of people are gonna be going towards that way. I think so. You think like I think PlayStation Five would be the last hardware console. If that's if that's where things are going, PlayStation Five would be the last hardware. No, I mean I if again, but it's all. I mean, I'm all for I, whatever. I, I think so. this is the future. Um, I think this is gonna be the future Boom. eventually. Um, I, I think we're always gonna have a PS Five or an Xbox though. No, like a hardware console. Uh, no, there's gonna be a hardware. What about console. the disc though? I don't think that's gonna go away. All right, I I do think that's gonna go away. Um, I think uh, I think. PS6 will still have discs. I think after PS6, we might not I think have. it'll give you the option or something. Yeah, I think it would be like, ooh, I could... Mm. So far down the road, dude. I can't even <laughs> think that far. Stop. Interesting. I wonder if, like, physical <laughs> games, just like Blu-rays, come with, like, a like a digital... and Kind of like how when you buy a movie, it says, hey, here's the digital, yeah, and the if you want, here's a code to download it. This should already come with that. Why would I... If I already bought well, the game, I guess I get it, because download. I guess te- technically you're getting two games. Yeah, I think so. That's why. But I guess if you would tie it to your gamer tag. True. Like, if you use one, it ties the other one. And to that's where the tag. whole universal and gaming thing comes together. I don't know. Yeah. That's weird. I don't know. It's so much weird. But, I mean, are you? how do you guys feel about... Again, we've always talked about Google stepping into their world, this gaming industry, this billion-dollar industry, stuff like that. Do you think Google's going to do right? Do you think the cloud base is their way of going, being different? And do you think it'll work? Well... Thinking about it, like I like digital games. Like most of my games are digital, digital. Mm-hmm. But I also like mods. You know, some True. games are good with mods. Like some mods make the game even better. And I feel like if everything went digital, mods would slowly start going away too, which limits creativity. Really? To the game. I don't yeah, do much with mods. I know Skyrim had a bunch of mods. Minecraft has a bunch of mods. Like those Fallout. things fall out. Like yeah, Skyrim those. was released with mods. Go, I don't think that'd go away though. How would it not go away? There's always a what, what's the no what's the biggest in term what's the biggest market for um mods pc right mm-hmm. correct is there any physical pc games no you just That's some okay but like the majority what, what, the of it though like 90 percent 95 percent of the pc market is all digital yes steam and an epic that's coming i feel up. like it's brand differently though like I feel like they still have a... Ho- I mean, yes, they have a client they have launched things through, but I feel like the actual See, game... I don't know how mods work, but I think you'd be able to make it. 
Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I can't speak on code. I can't speak on it because I. Because I think the game actually gets downloaded onto your hard drive. So to actually mod that code, you have to take that game off, put it in there, and you know, obviously run it through there. But if it's just like streamed, you'd have no way to do that. Point. No, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah. See, I mean, who cares about mods? Though? For mods, mods, are good. It, you guys it's ever good. Look at mods for games. I get. I think Skyrim was the only mod it's I like played with. Co- it's cheat codes. Some cheat codes it's are different. Fun. I but get again, it. But uh, you ever played Grand Theft Auto? And I, I, a mod I, I, lobby? That's a small margin, a small market of what they're really trying to go mm. for. That's what it is. Well, here's the thing with Google too. What? I think Money. they'd be smart to do this thing first, right? Get the hardware down, get the software really down, right, mm-hmm. and then sell it. To Sony and Microsoft, not sell it, but like lease it, right? So, oh, you guys want to do uh, all all streaming platforms, right? Oh, Xbox, you tried it. Oh, <laughs> Sony, you tried it. It didn't work. You guys sucked. Everybody's on this though. So let let me get this on your guys' consoles, and yeah. then we could call it a day. You can get call a profit a of like whatever the subscription is. And they're like, guess what? And then Crossbar. all of a sudden, they're paying to have them on their system, and then boom, Google's making money. But what would make this work? Just them putting AAA games on the streaming service? Yeah, they both. Yeah, the no, way. that's that's I all. Think that's one of the only ways. But I mean, Assassin's Creed Odyssey played with it. That was a test game. That like the Assassin's Creed Odyssey. They they already tried to. Do this. They wanted to see how a AAA game would work, and yeah. essentially they tested it with Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And I know people were able to get in on that and play that way. Good feedback. I heard nothing bad out of that. I, I didn't hear. I didn't read an article where it said, "Hey, this game's trash running on this system." People were like, "Hey, it works fine." I feel like a service like that, a service like that, would cost a lot, though. That's what I'm saying. Because I, not, I mean, again, hopefully we find out a lot more detail. How, how often do you spend? Uh, Money on games, though. Like, how much money do you think you're spending games? But again, what would hundreds? Be, what would be the baseline for the monthly? I mean, if it's yeah, like, like thirty bucks, pay, fifty bucks, like shit. For the online, hundred. I'd do a hundred. Wait. Yeah, hundred bucks a month. No, you're fucking tripping. You're I'd do fifty 12? to forty dollars a month. That's fuck. And you get access to streaming? every game. Yeah. But who gets who gets paid? Everybody. Just if it's subscription based, all they all they have to do is be like. Dog. Hey, you get a cut of the check. You get cut the check. Cut the check. Yeah, how do, how know, do you think man. Netflix gets paid? But Netflix is different. How's it different? Because Netflix has one uh, Netflix Originals. Okay. Yeah, but how did Sony they, they has didn't, Sony they Originals? Never, no, but not only that. We're quick on the Netflix. They didn't start off with hey, these are all originals. They started by getting with a lot of shit. other people's stuff. They got enough money. And then guess what? Netflix Studios. Guess what? By Anything that's the in Netflix. licenses. That's different. They didn't buy the licenses. Netflix didn't buy the licenses mm-hmm. to the movies. That's why they go off. That's oh, why that's true. things, yeah, exactly, right? So that's the reason why. That's also the annoyance, though, of this service. Yeah, I know. I was watching Scrubs, and the next thing you know, it wasn't there. Oh, anymore. my God. That was sad. <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> it's a great show. Dr. Cox. I don't know why he went with that name. So 50 a month plus the 50 for the year? Well, we don't know the pricing, but if it's around that price, I'd think about I'm it. I'm just saying, in general, like you'd pay $100. I do, I do two, like $100 up front and then a $20 fee every month. I just feel like there could be different subscription what? services. What? I don't know what the fuck you said because it didn't make no sense. Why are you just trying sense. to give your money away? <laughs> well, for that service, that'd be valuable. A hundred dollars up front, then twenty a month. You do realize it's twelve months. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. Sp- I mean, again, I don't, know, I don't even know if I spend that much on games now. That's the thing, right? So I think that's why the reason why there's gonna have different plans and subscriptions. I mean, we can't get too ahead of ourselves as far as like, hey, this is what the price is. We'll talk about it when they announce it. But for right now. I'm just excited. Um, <laughs> hopefully it works good because again, if I could get again Netflix for games, I was going to understand. Give me another three hundred dollars a year on games, <laughs> Mikey. You thought about that? <laughs> you did the math while I was talking. I don't think he realized what he just said. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. I'm like, I just want you to understand what you're saying. <laughs> you were just throwing numbers out there, huh? It's <laughs> throwing numbers on the wall. Three hundred bucks a month. I think I spent more than three hundred bucks a month on games last year. Three hundred bucks a month. Oh. Sorry. Holy a year. fuck. A year. A year. Take it easy. Take it easy. A year. Holy shit. That's why Mikey doesn't do math. <laughs> anything past five. Anything past the fingers. Come on. God of War. But that's like four games. That's not even a lot. No, exactly. That's so like five like, games. Sorry. I feel like if, if there ever is a pay no, option, like six games. there has to be a, like a, hey, a tier. Like, hey, this is the subscription plans. Kind of like Netflix right now. Ten bucks, um, 4K, and whatever. I mean, they'll find a way to do it. But would you upgrade... An extra tier just to play a Fuck. different game that's not nope. on that tier. Yeah, then you then you're asked out. Then you so have again, to buy the yeah, I'm hard just hard copy anyway. I'm for sure gonna be watching. I mean, again, the tagline of "Gather Round." Oof, oof. What does that say to you? 
gather round means come see what we got. I think it's kind of like what <laughs> Neva, it's, no, it's kind of like what Mikey's saying. Hey, AAA games right here and whatever. Just gather around. Everybody come here. Come to me. I got you. I'll take care of you. See, and this is what I think this is smart because if like this technology can be, in the, be then integrated into Xbox Game Pass. True. Ooh. I think this is going to be very interesting for the, the industry, but I do think Google would be dumb not to license themselves to everybody else to basically, hey, use our shit. I mean, Check it out. Any video game you can play on the Switch as long as you're in Wi-Fi. Think about it. So you think no, Google just wants partnership and not want to take all the fucking money for themselves? They they would be getting all the money, though. They can't take on these guys head on. It. If they were like, here's our fucking stupid box, play it. Everybody's like, the fuck? This one has God of War and Uncharted. And they're going to be like, oh, this one has Cuphead and fucking 4K <laughs> Blu-ray player. I don't know. What, whatever the fuck Xbox yeah. has. Um, and then, like, you know, you're not going to be able to take these guys head on who've been doing this for years and years and years and years. So if you can't beat them, get with them. That's the that's my motto. Yeah, that's what the girls on the street say. So um, <laughs> moving forward. We got <laughs> what you want to talk about? No, okay, move forward. Go ahead. No, go okay. ahead. I was just joking. No, I mean, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's I mean pretty much it for that, Google that, News. That's the right, the, the the right move. I think. I think that's the most lucrative, because then it's like, cool. You don't have to invest all this money into hardware and shit. Aside from like the first like thing that you do, console or whatever. That's crazy. Because the any video game manufacturer will tell you the money's not made in hardware; it's made in software. I mean, that only makes sense. You should let the Google know that, dude. Go ahead. Let them know. Let Google know. So, I think they would be <laughs> smart to get into the software game instead of the hardware game. That's just me, though. Damn, you sound, yeah, you sound a real, like, I don't know. Good for you, Mike. I don't know. <laughs> Google, be hard. Yeah. He was like, hey, do, that's do what it. it is. Okay, guys, that's what it is. <laughs> if they do actually make it happen, it'd be dope to happen, but I don't really see, like, a reasonable way to really make it happen to, like, a gamer. They're already doing it. I'm waiting to They did see. it with the with Google the past, Chrome. Or not the Google Chrome. They did it with where Chromecast. they could stream stream the fucking game. It wasn't on the Chromecast. We were corrected about that. Oh yeah, we were on the podcast. But still. We'll see what, what happens. Game? How many people played that game? Sorry. No, no, no. A yeah. lot. It was like in the game of the year Three conversation. Millions? For what? Off the off the Assassin's Creed? Mm-hmm. You're stupid. No, I swear to God. You're I'm not stupid. a big fan because I'm not a big Assassin's Creed fan, but a I'm lot of people either. were saying that that was like a very good but game. Unfortunately I played the first one and again. I kind of already told my story about Assassin's Creed where I legit kind of like assassinated a guy nobody even knew and I still <laughs> got like a five star Grand Theft Auto shit on my fucking Stupid. Assassin's Creed and I was like fuck this game Yeah, I was so mad uh, but yeah Google I mean hopefully like I said I'm gonna just wait and see speculate but I'm just gonna wait and see hopefully they get something good out on March 19th we'll be watching we'll be listening speculate speculation um things that we're not gonna be speculating though is dreams i know mikey's super high for this mikey hit me up i was like yo we need to talk about this asap and mikey's ready for dreams mikey's ready for dreams and mikey had speaking a dream of dreams. So dreams is the game we're not talking about what we sleep and that's what we're dreaming about i'm talking about the game dreams uh the media molecule game the people behind little big planet all those games they're i know we talked about it in a podcast a couple days ago where it's like create your own playground create your own game uh, they announced that people are going to be able to get early access in Spring 19, and that will cost 29.99. Uh, this version won't include the the story campaign that Media Molecule is working on, uh, and pretty much people will get to wait for the full game for that. But essentially, early access you'll get the tools to make your own levels, uh, tutorials, all that good stuff, everything that you need to kind of create your own level, create your own game inside of the game Dreams. It's going to be there for you in that early access. They're charging for a beta. Essentially. Which is bold. Also, <laughs> that's bold con. I think the only reason they could get away with it is because of how successful the first beta went. Yes. Is because if you asked me three months ago, hey, Mikey, is Dreams going to do good? I would have said, fuck no. I said, it's going to put Media Molecule out of business. Like, they're going to get shut down. Like, I've seen this time and time again. This is what happens, right? But that beta came out, and it caught fire. Like, there are it people did. talking about it, Like, oh, my God. That looks so dope. They, you can do Dead Space. You can do this. You can make people your... Like, are, it's yeah. literally, like... And the, and the people who are in the beta are itching to get back into the beta. They're like, it sucks that it, like, got taken away, blah, 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 blah. But, like, yeah. it's coming. So, I think after that, they're like, I think we could charge something for this. So, they're charging. Good on them. They need to make some, some money. They haven't had anything out since, like, 2012. Damn. Mm. Okay. Other than Tearaway. Tearaway. Yeah. Tearaway, like, but that was like a 10 person team working on Tearaway. <laughs> it's crazy. Think about it. But, but I'm mean, good. Yeah. So, so I'm excited. It's cool that they're going to be back. Um, 
the hype around the last beta, I think, really set them up for success. And I love the reason why they can charge, just because, like I said, if you, you asked me two months ago, I would have been like, yeah, Medi- Media Monocle is going to die. They're going to go the way of, mm-hmm. like, Evolution Studio oh, or... Fuck, I forgot about that, Evolution. Or... Uh, that was the Xbox game, right? The, they created No, that was, that was PlayStation. That was Drive Club. That was... Um, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> the other fucking racing game. I forgot what it was called. Motor... Force Crossway? No, I don't know. Um, I don't know they're going to go the way of Zipper. Remember Zipper? Mm-hmm. The uh, Unit 13 on the Vita. Z- um, SOCOM? No. You know, Vita's dying. They stopped production. You in never played SOCOM? Sony, so nobody cares. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. I should have. We so should old. put that on here. Well, so I mean, there's nothing to talk about because it's the Vita. Nobody cares. Vita, stop production. RIP. But yeah, I'm excited <laughs> for. Uh, <laughs> in Japan, I think only. I'm excited for dreams. No, because uh, the, the cool and exciting thing that I want to make sure I say this right, uh, Tombo, if you can make sure I'm not spitting out lies, uh, is that for the early access, um, obviously there's no NDA. <laughs> There's, hey, this is the game. You could stream. Yeah, no, you're buying it. There's no idea. So, okay, yeah. cool. I think I was, because I read an article, but I want to be 100% sure. Mikey backed me up, so he's a liar if he, if I'm wrong. Uh, but the <laughs> idea is that you could stream all that, create, share, all that goodness. We're good time. I don't think you need to do it. Um, but, hey, I mean, that's all, like you said, it's building up on that hype train, people gathering around um, and saying, hey, cool, I want to play this game. You're playing it. It looks fun. Let's get on it. I think it's going to catch fire. It, uh, yeah, no, it's it's going to catch fire. Are you going to pay to get in, Mikey? Yeah, I am. I just I want to see what people are doing. I, I can't okay. create Mikey shit. Mikey makes me want to. What are you going to create, Mikey? I can't create you, shit. Yeah, so I'm, I'm not even trying to create, create I'm, gonna, I'm interested in... We should just do a stream of just, hey... This is what Mikey playing, and he's just going to be like, what the fuck am I doing? What I'm going to create or what he's I'm going to play? Create. Like create, create, create like a dick world. No, not only dick world, but you're going to do dicks see. and no Crash Bandicoot. Oh, uh, dicks, Crash Bandicoot, Big great. Blue, cigarettes. <laughs> oh, Mikey can't even create all of that. I can't, can't even. He's just talking. Yeah. You can sculpt, apparently, with like the, the you PlayStation You can't even draw on. a circle. What, what the fuck are you talking yeah. about? That'd be sick. So it's cool. Cool things you can do. I'm gonna jump into it. Just I want to see what people are like making. Someone's making PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale in the game. That sounds crazy. Rough. I'm not gonna lie to you. That sounds kind of crazy. <laughs> so, so it's like there's there's first person shooters. There's puzzle games. There's like it's crazy. So I'm excited to jump. Oh, I'm into excited. It. Yeah, no, it's definitely a game. I'm gonna. I don't know if I'll enjoy people like watching creating it. I don't want it to be like a Bob Ross painting where there's like, hey, this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm creating. My thing is, I was gonna be like, yo, just give me the fucking game. Let me see what you're playing. Let me see what you're doing. I'm not trying to figure out all oh, what you're like. Oh, this is how I drove the legs. Cool. It's not for me. Give me the fucking game and let me see what you're playing. And I'm excited for dreams. Yeah. If that's how it is, so I'm glad that they're able to like release this and then pretty much say, hey, create, share, do what you want to do, stream it, play it, share it. Like, I'm all for that. It better come out, and it better be free to play. <laughs> no, it's not gonna. <laughs> no, <laughs> for all that they've been but working on in this, no, God, I don't no. have to rebuy it for sixty dollars. I think I put thirty in. The I pot. think this is gonna be a fucking games as a service. I think Dreams is gonna come out, it has and, to. Then, and, and then you're gonna spend sixty bucks, maybe eighty dollars, but 80 sixty bucks, bucks? <laughs> sixty bucks. Let's just say I I would pay Mikey just eighty likes bucks. Numbers, I swear to God. No, no, I would pay I eighty bucks. The numbers are game, coming out If they today. did it as a game as a service, as in like, hey, this came out. We worked so hard on this. This took fucking forever. Um, this was announced like like we saw a little bit of dreams like when the PS4 was announced. So it, it took fucking forever. We we're finally getting it, um, and we're gonna support it, and we're gonna like. Um, we're going to support it, and we're going to keep Why making keep updates and everything. What's going Dude, on? Mikey's talking. But Andres is kind of trying to sneak some pictures of me. All What's I up? did was do a boomerang. What's you doing? I all I did was do a boomerang. Do boomerang. Why are you trying and to be y'all all secretive? Like, you all um, how am I secretive? The phone's we're in your face. We're in the middle of the show, dog. And Mikey was very Come into on, a dog. very beautiful, well-thought-out point. You distracted me, point. though. And you distracted Mikey. <sighs> Off the rails. I'm sorry, I'm Mikey. Sorry, Mikey. It's I here. apologize. You get a pass. Thank you. <laughs> Andres, what's, what's your excuse? <laughs> I'm fucked. I don't know what you're talking about, Mikey. <laughs> no, but I, at the end of the day, Dreams is going to be a game that I'm going to be excited for, for sure. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. It, it's a game changer. Like, this is going to shift the industry where it's like, oh, fuck, this is possible. Like, people can make games that like Create this. You can make share. an engine, essentially, that you can fucking make games in. So There's I'm excited. So this is gonna be monum- this is gonna be one of those games where you're gonna like look back on and you'll be like, yeah, that like helps shape the industry. That I mean, yeah, there's a couple of games yeah, that did that. He's speaking a lot right now in that. So game. I mean, exactly. No, he's hyped for that one. So what? Are you more excited about Dreams or are you excited about more about Google? 
the, the fuck dreams, hands down. I don't Why give a fuck about what Google No, just because, again, the idea of those two things, for me, is what I'm thinking is that those are two big game changing things. Are you excited for Red Dead Redemption 2 or the Ouya? Well, for me, it's fucking hands down fucking Red Dead Redemption 2. I don't even like it, Red Dead Redemption 2. But have you fucking played the Ouya? It's amazing. Do you remember the Ouya? Fuck who you is. It's a really that we don't talk about that. <laughs> but the reason why yeah. I, the reason why I bring that up is because the, the way that you describe it's like a game changing industry things. And if Google works out, hey, guess what? It's game changing with your three hundred dollar a month subscription service that Mikey just made up, or <laughs> like this dreams where it's create play share. I mean, that model about like is still new. I feel like that model of create play share is so like new and it was game changing as far as development. As far as we talking about dreams, okay. I think you meant game changing. As far as like software, like how they put uh, the game. There's a little difference. Okay, you're right. You're right. No, I was gonna say game changing in terms of like industry standard. Like, oh shit, this is possible. People are gonna look just like just like Grand Theft Auto. Industry on a developer Grand Theft side Auto or three side marketing. In, industry wide, this is gonna have impact just like Grand Theft Auto Three had. Oh shit, this is what an open world game is. This is I mean, what you can do. Development wise, yeah, he is. Yeah, I figured. I just. Continue, sir. Oh, sorry, but no, that's why I'm, <laughs> I'm looking up the Ouya. Ouya? Ouya. Fuck, what was that? Oh, that was Ouya. so bad. That was a that was the an, or uh, an, I think no, not Android based, but it was a indie game console. You remember Towerfall? I know. Uh, I I, I remember because I think yeah. we sold it for a minute. It, really? I think we did. Did it we? Like this. But yeah, was so it? it was like for like indie games, and it was Never like a crowd fa- f- funded one. I think we did it. Yeah, no, I don't know if we did. No, yeah, it was a crowd funded um, one. No, I don't, I don't think we never sold it. I think it was crowd. No, it hit stores though. Fuck, I'm, I'm confused. It was a crowd funded one. I am kind of sure, I might as well get. Leave a comment down below if you remember the Ouya. How much is that worth now? Like it's probably like vintage. Uh, it's probably somewhere. Now. IGN $20. Entertainment gave it a six out of ten, and Tech Radar gave Damn. it a two point five out of five. That Mediocre. Shit trash. It's trash. You went on eBay for $135 used. I might as well get <laughs> Soldier Boy's console. We should buy one just for the set, you know. Just put it in the background. Oh, yeah. Support Oh, trash. yeah. Um, so, <laughs> I think I'm excited for Dreams. Um, Mikey's way more excited than I am, but still, nonetheless, I'm just, I think I'm more watched the early access. I don't think I I'm going to get I'm going to watch Mikey play. I'm, 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 it. <laughs> I'm interested. It's him drawing dicks like super bad. It's like, hey, I'm, I'm not here for the dicks. I'm not, like, I'm not about creating, but I want to, like, People make cool shit, so I'm gonna play the cool shit. And people really make cool shit when they have all the tools, and it's not just little big planet or Mario Maker fucking bullshit. I thought the shit people made on Minecraft was cool, so I couldn't even imagine what dreams would be. Like. You can sculpt in with the fucking wands. So cool. Are you gonna buy the wands? No, I'm not gonna be creative. Why are you so hype? These for people the can like wa- sculpt in shit. I wonder. If that's probably like hard. I still gotta get a. Um, but PlayStation uh, VR. What are you doing? No, you oh should yeah. because uh, you could get all the. <laughs> that, you mother. <laughs> Auto fucker. Did you pull He some pulled hair. my. He, that, man, that man's pulled the hair out of my head. Auto reboot. Dude, how much did you get? Six. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, regardless of that, we can kind of go into the last bit of news that we got. Um, big one. Hello. It's a big one. It's more of a tip to the hat uh, to the good old man over there in Nintendo. Uh, Reggie officially retired. Reggie Fimes. Your I, boy. Your boy. He finally retired from Nintendo. Uh, U.S. Nintendo. President. Nintendo America. There you go. Okay. Nintendo of America. He finally retired. Enjoy retirement. This is the guy who kind of really gave life to Nintendo for sure. Um, how long was he? 15 years? There, there, yeah. there you go. 15. 15. I have it right here in front of me. He was the, the face. And it, it's sad to see him go. I always hate seeing like CEO turnover. Like Jack Trenton. You might remember him, PlayStation CEO uh, mm-hmm. for America, uh, PlayStation of America. Mm-hmm. He was out there with Kevin Butler. Remember Kevin Butler? No. No. The, 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 the spokes guy. Remember on all the, the commercials for PlayStation 3, it was like I Greatness Awaits. Or I didn't watch TV. But you saw the Kevin Butler ads. I didn't watch TV. And he gave the epic speech at E3. I'm looking him up right now. But I know Andrew House. That's like the only guy I know. He's like, gamers, right, 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 right. He talks like that, and he's talking about, like... That sounds familiar. You know who Kevin Butler is? Guy. If, you, if I show the face, you'll know. He's he's not even an actual guy. He's just an actor. Oh. Yeah, he's not yeah. even a spoke. He's just an actor. 
Okay, I know that he's guy. Like, he's nothing. He's just. A I remember. Kid. I, didn't, no, I he, remember those commercials. No, but he's like, about. was a, he was a marketing career character used by Sony Entertainment? He's not. A, you, I thought he's you made important. He's a face. I love Kevin Butler, and those ads are great. And I wish PlayStation would do those ads again. <laughs> We're talking about okay. Reggie. We're talking Family. about Hi, Reggie. We're talking about Reggie. Let's get off Nintendo. I'm um, get off Sony right now. Okay. Okay. Get off that and let's talk about let's talk about Nintendo. Let's talk about what this man did. Because what, what he do? Did. What do you do? <laughs> again, from, from uh, I was kind of I know he's always been the face for me. I mean, again, I I never really paid attention to presidents and CEOs when I was a kid. This was this guy's been here for 15 years. So when he created this 15 years ago, I was a kid. I was 11. I don't even know how old I was. I was in my. I wasn't even a hey, teen. What's the, do, you, do you know I anything? You were 30 he was in my teen years ago. <laughs> What? Is there anything recent he was in? Like, just so I can have, like, a recollection. Kevin? No. Reggie. Re- the uh, uh, the Nintendo, Nintendo Directs. Then he's always the guy Nintendo Directs. And he has, like, the curly hair. Oh, that's him? Yeah, that's Reggie. Why is he stepping Your boy. Down? He's stepping down because he's, he's, he's trying to spend more time with his family, man. Yeah, he's, he's um, trying to level up. Level but up a lot of people like to him. Uh, there's a, obviously the moment that a lot of people talk about is that E3 in uh, 2004. Uh, he said, my name is Reggie. I'm about kicking ass. I'm about taking names and we're about making games. Uh, just the way that he gave off that energy, that vibrantness, he gave Nintendo that kind of, Hey, we're here to have fun. We're here to have play games, have fun. Cause Nintendo kind of, from what I was reading a lot, you know, the reason what made Reggie so good is that he definitely breathed life into Nintendo. He made it much more vibrant, more fun to be around. Nintendo was way more robotic. It was like, Hey, yes, shoot this game. Here you go. Have fun. You remember... You know what Reggie reminds me of? Who? Like the fun uncle at the family gathering that you're always excited to see. He's you not the see, drunk uncle. He's always like the... fun. I'm dead. He always has some shit on <laughs> him dead. or some stories and shit. That's how Reggie, like what Reggie reminds me of. Like yeah. He's always that like guy where it's Happy like, to see you. Hey, what's yeah, up, he's dude? Just, he's just a cool, he's just a chill dude. Who's the guy stepping in for Reggie? This guy named literally Doug Bowser. Doug Bowser. I the guy's last name is from. Bowser, my dude. Iconic. That's why. How much do you think his promotions in that company have been? Just do off his name. Doug I don't know. Bowser. So, yeah, this guy's. Has he been a face or anything? Doug. I think so. I don't remember off the top of my head what though. Come on, Mike. I think he, to be he right has there for been me. on the Nintendo Direct, from what I remember. He has been on one. Yeah, and I remember that he was in the news last week for something too. I forgot. Uh, off the uh, top of my head No it was uh, something about Doug Bowser I remember having this conversation with Gettys huh. But yeah I'm trying to uh, yeah so no, re- This is just a tip of the hat for me Like hey the Reggie gave Nintendo That kind of excitement and fun to it Especially when he did those Nintendo Directs Especially when he was in E3 He made the Wii U exciting when it came out Nobody knew it was going to be a oh, piece of did. shit For me you did <laughs> For me he did okay that's why I bought it Check I bought it out of Reggie. this half assed Fisher <laughs> Price tablet <laughs> um, no, but for real, uh, I know you were like, oh, it's not that big of a deal. Like, CEO changes are huge. Like, that's usually when a big mom- monumental shift happens. Yeah, I mean, look at Xbox from when they announced the Xbox One and then their CEO shift, right? And look how completely, how their company completely changed just from that one CEO change, right? That's true. Same thing with Sony with Phil Harrison. Fucking Phil Harrison, mm-hmm. the guy who introduced the PS3 on stage was the Sony CEO and remember the like the giant robot crab and like Ridge Racer and like the j- disaster that that PS3 conference was when they announced it in the price I was like 800, 800 bucks you have to though. take out a mortgage was <laughs> like to get yeah. Did it come huh? was it 800 it was like 700 800 I know the one I got was like maybe 600 bucks. yeah I think that was a small memory one too I think it was like I don't even yeah, know yeah I think I there was know. one that was higher than that yeah I think that was more memory cause can you guys believe it was 32 gigs 32 gigs in memory card slots yeah that was before they had you download every damn application every time you put a slot in your disc. I know. That's, that's, that's what it was funny. That shit, uh, shit pissed me off. <laughs> but it's true. I, I like. do hate that. I hate that about the new games where it's like, well, then why am I buying physical? I, that's the one reason what that made me want to download games digitally because I can't even Yo, what's buy the, the game, come home, and pop it in. I can't even be excited because now after I pop it in, I have to wait an extra hour anyway for my fucking... PlayStation to download 50 gigabytes of fucking storage just so I can play the game. Yeah, I, I agree. That's dumb. I bought everyone who bought Grand Theft Auto 5 on disc knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> that shit was terrible. I agree. It's it, it's stupid. I hate how they do that. Um, fuck. But yeah, no, Phil Harrison, right, say, do you think, right yeah. before I get on the uh, off track, Phil Harrison, when PS3 was announced, 
fucking PlayStation was a disaster, and then they switched to Jack Tretton, and then he got them more on track and led them into the PS4 era, and then here so we are. So I think, I mean, it's, I don't think it'd be a big difference, because again, they have the roadmap. The Switch is going, again, I was using that expression wrong last time, and I'm still going to say it. They got nowhere else to come put up. Um, Bowser has the keys to a successful and healthy Bowser gaming better cycle. bring that Netflix over. That's what he better do. <laughs> Bring that you, I forget. I, for, I always forget. Switch. Flowers uses the switch a lot Hell more than I think. Hell fucking yeah! I'll be streaming on that. Yeah, I always yeah. forget that he does that. I forget he uses that. Bring that Netflix over. Bring that Crunchyroll over. Bring that HBO oh, yeah, cr- over. No. Okay. Who the fuck watches shit on the All switch? That has, you need to stop. You I need, need to stop. It. I need it, Andres. You need watch to stop. it on your TV. Oh wait, they you have a fucking forty-inch insignia TV. Twitch yeah. over to the switch, the app, and bring all that shit. Okay. Make that shit official so I can watch and use my Switch more often. I'm glad. I'm glad you use YouTube. Why are you <laughs> adding? Bring that Pornhub over to the Switch, Nintendo. Yeah, I mean, you hear the don't browser. you ever put a web browser on the Nintendo Switch. That'd be the Why end not? of it all. No one will buy it for their kids because all their kids are going to do is fucking look up porn hey, on their Switch. That's what I did on my PSP. I turned off fine. See, that's my point. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. That's why the PSP you was so great, huh, Mikey? It was great. That's exactly so why it was so great. X hamster, you know what I mean? You can download the videos right on your little memory stick duo. He said X hamster. Anyway, uh, <laughs> gross. Goddamn. <laughs> but congrats to Reggie on the retirement. Awesome guy. Um, I guess I remember I, every time I watched E3 or, or Nintendo Direct, he was the guy there. So he definitely made the Nintendo exciting for me, at least. That's what he did for sure. He was there for the Wii music demo. Fuck yeah, he was. Holy, that was embarrassing. <laughs> Hi, yeah. See, that's like this man pros, man. He's up there fucking doing that. Fuck uh, with fucking uh, Miyamoto. And he's, and making, you know, like, and he's, ba- he's, he's making that fun. Yeah, I think he, for Donkey Kong Freeze 2 or something. God, we gotta, when we get to closer to three, E3, we got to do like our top five E3 mm-hmm. moments. Every Fuck. time. Here's, a pl- here's how you share a game. <laughs> that one that's in there fucking Mr. Caffeine fuck there's like so many good ones where there's it's so many like good ones definitely true we'll, we'll get into it because hopefully we, we get something going on for your E3 it's gonna be fun it's yeah fun. things in the for works sure. things in the works boys Um. so yeah I mean as far as gaming news that's pretty much everything that we kind of talked about for sure this week I mean is there anything last minute you guys want to throw in there real quick for the news anything last minute before we get into the listener questions PlayStation Vita died so R.I.P. You were the homie. It's funny because for me, it's been died since like 2016. Uh, I never had one, so yeah, no big It's a good that, 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 Uncharted Golden Biss. We're talking about shout out, Mikey, shout out, Mikey. wipe out 2048. Shout out, shout out, uh, Unit 13 from Zipper Production. We're shout out. We're talking about big important big news. studios. <laughs> we're talking about important news. We need important news. All right, important news. No, no, PlayStation VR. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Health to the manufacturer. <laughs> also, we got some new stuff. CTR gameplay. Oh, yeah, so check gameplay. that out. Good stuff. CTR I'm excited. CTR gameplay. I bought some Crash Bandicoot figure, figures. Too much. Stop. Yeah. Too much. Don't, don't, don't. I, I, I can only deal with one. Crash Bandicoot figures. I can only do one of those flowers. <laughs> I can't have two of you. Crash Bandicoot. I cannot. All right. Thumbo, you got anything to say real quick? He's shaking his head. Thumbo looks embarrassed. beat. Yeah, Tombo's like guts look beat. Beat is meat. Beat it Take all night. Seat. Let's get into Peter the listener high, questions, guys. Listen to questions. Go ahead. Listen to questions. We got my boy Zach Brown. Zach Brown. He said, What is the best video game sequel? And why is it Arkham City? It's not. <laughs> it's not Arkham City. Hmm. It's a hell of a sequel for sure. I feel like I can't say there is a best video game sequel because then essentially you're saying it's the best video game ever. I feel like there is no. video game sequels. I, That's not what you're saying. Best video game sequel. So what's the best number two? Uncharted. For me, it's Uncharted 2. Yeah, okay. So best video game sequel. So like, if it's like Uncharted 2, right? Yeah. But The Last of Us 1, but that, that doesn't have a sequel or yeah. just the standalone Last of Us is better than that. It doesn't mean it's the best game ever. Uh, okay, I read the question wrong, but I re- re- reiterated it. So. Yeah. <laughs> so I, what, are, what is your best sequel game then? Uh, for me, it's going to be Uncharted 2. Uh, Portal 2 mm. is a really good one. Half-Life 2. And again, th- that's one that I... Half-Life wasn't one that I played at all. But I, I understand like the importance of that game yeah. and how much cultural significance. Like That was such early... like 
like or mid two thousands game, like the the Half Life, and then the you got the Numa Numa guy, and like th- those are all like tied together, like in yeah. terms of memories, like yeah. the, the Half Life. I remember the era. I remember having friends. You re- like, distinctly remember, which is cool. Um, Portal was fun. I wish Portal Two was first back. of all. Uncharted Three was better than Uncharted Two, so let's really? let's drop that You're uh, charade. <laughs> You're stupid. Um, I, I, yeah, I don't know. There's a uh, Crash Bandicoot Two, great sequel. Here we go. Uh, one of All the great right. Yeah, I don't know no, no, why no, I didn't no, see no, that. No. Co- how, did I, how did I not see that coming? <laughs> Let's I'm, I'm stupid for that one. Place for four, I'm over here. Yeah, yeah. named some games out in the open. Then was like, bam, bam. Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> <laughs> Crash Bandicoot Two. I fucking knew the <laughs> best game in the series, <laughs> and cute. it's also the better sequel. No, no but no, now you got a lot to say. Now you got a lot I'm to just say. What's that in? I'm just trying to say like games that are have re- that are, are better sequels. Like I don't know which one's the best video game sequel. Um, Arkham City. Uh, Arkham City is good. I think Arkham Knight is pretty good as oh, well. Arkham Knight. Sorry, that's what I meant. Uh, I mean, for me personally, like my experience wise in game sequels I've had, I probably yeah. see either like Gears Three or Halo Four. Four? Really? I had so much fun S- in Halo sequel, Four. Sequel isn't four? that number two? Either way, it's a sequel. Regardless, I, I we'll let it slide. It's Black Halo History four? Month. Come on. Number Mikey. two what? Isn't it the number two in the game? He's trying series? to say sequel. So if it's Gears 1, you're saying the best sequel is Gears 2. He's been... Uh, dude, but it's Black History Month. I'm going to let it slide. You do you. I'm sorry. I thought it was a like sequel to the previous title. Yeah. Like, oh, sure. Maybe. I don't know. I, I was That's just trying I to clarify the rules. Said I know what you're talking about. And we're, oh, no, we're no, going to no, let no. it happen. I was just saying he was wrong. Because, oh. like, he said best Uncharted game. And the, like that's just foolish. Oh, fuck. Oh. Mm, just never mind. It. Shut the fuck up. Go ahead, dude. But yeah, so I mean, me personally, I definitely say sequel say, to Gears of War two, which was three. <laughs> <laughs> Correction, got you on that for sure. Had hella fun but, on that game. Halo four, Halo four, actually had a lot of fun. Like, there's a lot of like created maps I was able to find up online, like YouTube. Like, I'm able to stand up one night. Like, fuck, I'm you fucking bored right now. Halo four. Or Go Halo on YouTube, 3. search up fucking someone's created map. You can search up their game attack in Halo four. And you can just download the maps off the playlist. Like, it was like hella shit. And like Halo 4's graphics were like hella fun too. Halo 4 over Halo 3, you're insane. Mm. I didn't that's, play Halo 2, fair. so I can't really say it was a better sequel. No, Halo 3. I didn't play Halo 2, so oh, I can't say Halo okay, 3 is better. Okay, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. So you see what you did? Yeah, see my what bad. You did with the I bullshit still cali- listening. Technicality. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Technicality. Yeah, you Technicality. Halo 3 was hella fun too, don't get me wrong. Like I had more fun on Halo 3 than Halo 4, but Halo 4 was like a good like... Not over exact, not as good as Halo mm-hmm. 4, but wasn't as bad as like some of the other Halo games. Not saying any more bad, but like I just had a lot of fun. Like I didn't miss too much type of Halo 4 That's what's up. experience. Infamous 2. For right, me. Go. Infamous 2 is pretty oh, good. That was That's good actually thing. a sleeper one. That's a sleeper pick for me. I played the little, but for me, the little I, light one. Uh, when you had to kill him. Mm, spoilers, dude. Fuck. It, it, bro, if you haven't played Halo Infamous 2, fuck, go fuck yourself. Dude. What was the... um? The fucking Xbox I'm equivalent to Infamous? Shit, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I mean, it was on both of them, but it was... Um, no, it wasn't. It was Prototype. Prototype yeah, was but not on PlayStation. Yes, it was. Yeah. It was. was it? Yeah, yeah, it was. Oh, I thought that was exclusive. I felt good playing it. <laughs> it's all good. I know. I that's like, how everybody on the 360 is like, you know, I have this too. Plus, I have a better version. Yeah. The, but there's it's some sequels Infamous. that weren't as good. I think Bioshock 2. Mm. But, but you didn't say. What's your Oh, no, Uncharted 2, hands down. Oh, uh, really? Yep. Out of everything? Yep. Out of so everything dumb. you played. Uh, yeah, you sound real for dumb. me, it's stupid. I mean, for me, I, uh, <laughs> just because I don't, it's not a, it's unpopular opinion. Um, but I really, really enjoyed Bioshock too. Like I really game. enjoyed it. Never played them all. Never played mm-hmm. any of them actually. You don't, so. you don't know. Oh about yeah, we, we talked. about, about, about Woody kindly. We've talked about this. I think we have. But either way, uh, Bioshock Two, I think is a really, really awesome game. I really enjoyed it. Just being the I big had fun daddy. with Bioshock Two. People, I, I really enjoyed it, but people just, a lot of people don't feel like it's as strong as the first Bioshock. And obviously, right? Because Bioshock 1 is, it's, damn, it's up there. I don't think Infinite is uh, better than Bioshock No, Infinite, two. for me, it's like the bottom of the three. Yeah. For me, it would be too. one, it's exactly how it is. It's one, two, three. The best, better, good. I say 007 Golden Eagle. Damn, the sequel drop. <laughs> Damn. That was a pregnant pause of just silence. Damn. Like, what the fuck does man just say? This man Back um, to the PlayStation two days. That. You know, Need for Speed Underground 2. You know what I'm saying? I don't know about that. Yeah. Dumbo, what about you? Was what's cool. your best? What's your favorite game? A sequel game? Need for Speed. I know, Tombo. He's going to be like Fortnite yeah. Season 2. I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't got one, bro. I, just, I, didn't, I didn't play games a lot like that, so it's like... 
Damn, my yeah. bad, G. You know, my bad. And why you gotta put him on the spot like he that? He was hustling. Yeah, one of those kids that had friends. He was hustling on the streets. That's what he was doing. He's one of those kids that had friends. Marvel vs. Capcom 2? No. No, I had friends. I was playing outside, bro. That's the best equal. But I'm still fat. So That's the best sequel. I don't know. <laughs> That's that the little 60 equal. minute go outside on the TV shit didn't work. Did it play 60? Fuck NFL, right? <laughs> <laughs> But it's cool. I mean, that's that's a good question. I like that question. Star good, Wars, good Empire at War, the second one. Ooh. I forgot what it was called. The one with the bounty hunters. Yeah, dope. The I'm gonna unleashed. download that on Steam. I I've really been having the hanker and play. You're that gonna game. do wait wait. He said you're gonna do what? What you gonna do? Just download that on Steam. On the PC? Yeah, it's a PC game, but it's a top down gonna, game. Uh, so you gonna play the PC? Yeah, but it's on a Mac, so it doesn't count. All that shit you was talking about the PC. <gasps> All count. that shit. It's not like one of those ooh, driver games. It's like <laughs> it's like almost like a roller coaster tycoon. You know, the That's how basic that game Epic is. Store. It's not on the Epic Store. Oh. So. But it's on PC. Yeah. Oh, but all that shit he was talking yeah, about the PC. All here that you are. Shit. I'm gonna get a little PC. You thought I wouldn't uh, just call you off for that? Hey, he's on the mute. You man. don't even need the keyboard. Hey, you need to play the game. He's done. Mute the man. Done. Rest of the pre- no. rest of the podcast. He's done. <laughs> no more mic. Let's Hypocrite. go into the last question. Shout out to Zach for that question. That was pretty cool. I, I like that question. I think we kind of answered. Uh, yeah, Adam Wistra, my man, who always. Robert, shout out, Adam. He's always out there. Always Adam's the homie. He knows it. Um, but he kind of says, "What are your thoughts and opinions on Anthony? Oh, not on Anthony." On Anthem and Division 2, uh, and then MMO Lite and Cosmetic Microtransactions. Pretty much <coughs> what we've been talking about a lot lately is definitely the idea of microtransactions. And like I said, for me, again, if you support the game, support it. If As long as it doesn't buff, like, make you like an OPS character, by all means, spend $100 on the game. I don't give a shit. You could have the newest skin. I'll be basic-ass skin, and I'll still kill you. So. But you can't kill anyone in, in Anthem. First of all. Because there's no multiplayer. Shh. So who are you going to kill? I was talking about Division 2. Oh, Division 2. When you go to the Dark Zone? Division 2. When you go to the Dark Zone? What you know about that Dark Zone? Well, he is Dark Zone. What you know about that Dark Zone? Anthem, not for Division 2. He has has for questions on Anthem and Division 2. What you mean? I know, but I'm saying there won't be that many like microtransactions for for Division 2. Division 2 is probably a little bit. It's an online multiplayer shooter. Of course you mean. There's going to be some, but it's not going to be as heavy as Anthem. Bet. I'm trying to think of... No, I'm trying to think if the first one had microtransactions. Isn't it an EA game? No. Can you not? So Ubisoft. Division 2? Ubisoft. Yeah, you yeah. tried it. <laughs> what we bet on again? I take it back. I bet on. I take you it back. tried it. I take it back. What we bet on? <laughs> take it back. <laughs> you tried it. <laughs> you get, you get, it, it sucks because you're getting confused between, obviously, Anthem and Division 2. Yeah, so it's, we'll let that pass. Even try, though I wasn't confusing try. it with Anthem. I just thought, well, it, was a, I just thought it was an EA game. Now I try to make you look not stupid, but... You know, no, you are. Let let him have have stupid. If this podcast does anything, it's make me look stupid. So, <laughs> yes, it does. Super I'm not cuts. really scared. <laughs> yes, it does. Super but yeah, cuts. no, Anthem, like, crazy. I heard, Bumble. like, what's up? I was watching this review. I forgot this guy in line. But I was watching this review, and he was pretty much breaking down the game. Of course, he didn't. He hated the game. Of course. But he pretty much broke down the microtransactions. He said, like, the equivalent of the Epic skin, right? Mm-hmm. An Epic skin. He's talking about um, an Apex. Mm-hmm. It's $8. Fuck for an epic skin, and I'm pretty sure there's multiple skins, I'm multiple sure there's characters, skins, and all you know this shit. I'm cool. I'm cool with that. I'm cool. With I don't that. know how I feel about that. I'm gonna wait and see again. If I li- if I like the game, I'm gonna support it, and I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy whatever V bucks it is for that game. That's, that's, that's where I come down. It's just support the shit you want to support, and don't support the shit you don't want to support. That's what it comes down to at the end of the day. Don't Why down, are we getting no, mad? Down, no, Why down. do we fight? Why do we yell? Just like fuck with the shit that you want to fuck with. I fuck with you. I fuck facts. with you, baby boy. Big fat. Jesus didn't ruin it. I got a question. Hey, wait, wait. There's a question. There's one more one question. One more. What that is came it, Tumble? In. Tumble Vlogs asked, is Fortnite dead? Yes. Ooh. No. That's a good so. that's a good question. For me, so. For you me, can't kill a god. You're stupid. Hey. <laughs> Play the other guys, day. They just oh You know, Apex god. is good and all, but says I mean, the one that's still trash at Fortnite. For real. Get kill a icon. kill first. How about that? Um, I don't think. I mean, Fortnite's always gonna be there. It's, it's it is king, unfortunately. But I mean, obviously, there's people. There's other games out there. I'm not playing Fortnite, so it's cool. Fortnite's gonna be like. I'm waiting for that Spellbreak game to hit the consoles. Then we could talk about it. Oh, it's over. Oh my god. I don't think Let's Apex. Is we're gonna, gonna that game. I got. I got hope in. We're gonna end the podcast before you get into it. Okay. Yeah. I got one more <laughs> question. Oh, sorry, you got a question, bro. Sorry. sorry, sorry, right, sorry so what do you guys you. think is the worst? Launch titles for the you know Xbox versus PlayStation releases. What do you mean? 
launch titles like the worst like generation like exclusive games xbox versus playstation whatever like, xbox i don't even know i think it was at glory like the, what was that glory. xbox game that came out it was like glory no it was the 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 I know which one you're talking about. It's like it's like a 300 Empire Rome almost type Ra- game. Not Rage. Fuck. What is it called? What, what was the game like? I'm confused. What you guys talking it's about? Like a, it's, it's a. It was like a launch a title. It was a launch title for the Xbox when it came out. It's like you're like some Sparta Xbox 300. One. Sorry, it was an Xbox One title. But it was like a glory. I think it's called. Wasn't it called Glory? Hold on, hold on, hold on, no, it's um. Fuck. You guys think that was the worst? Rage, launch not title? Rage. Yeah. It starts with an R. Road, road to glory. Jeez, you guys are gonna blow your brains. Hold up, I'm pulling it up. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> Thanks me for making me feel like more stupid. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. wait. Dead Rising Three was the launch title for the fucking. Well, either way, that's still, yeah. that's still a bad one. Would you say like Dead Rising? Like Dead Rising? Xbox One launch title. I think it's Dead like Rising was a solid game. I don't know what you're talking about. Rise. 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 It's spelled weird too, right? With the yeah, Y? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, I remember that. So I think that's the reason why I was stuck on Glory, because it had the Y in there. Yeah, sure. Don't, don't <laughs> quite add up. Uh, Zook Tycoon, Tycoon, Loco Cycle, Dead Rising 3. I think Xbox One's launch lineup was ass. Was the worst. Dude, the Xbox One generation was terrible? Yeah. Yeah. I, I think that will go down as one of the great all-time failures Damn. of Xbox. That's now, why people didn't buy it remember again. Remember when they announced games to play and Project buy Spark, and then we just never got Project. Uh, uh, like yeah, we got it. No we talked about this. Classics being released. Yeah, we talked about it already. No, but yeah, I think <laughs> that game was pretty bad. The whole launch was pretty bad. Yeah, I think that would be probably the worst launch title. PS2 didn't have too many good launch titles mm-hmm. either. But um, I think Xbox One the, takes the cake for the worst. I still had demo disc for the PS2. You know, I think I'm good. Hopefully, you know, the next Xbox release title. Yeah, they're going to have Halo. They have better stuff. They're going to have Halo. They're going to have... Well, they have all these studios working yeah, on they have So I'm very confident in the next, like, They're not going to drop the ball on this year. Yeah. They're gonna this is going to be very interesting, yeah. They're, dude, they are coming. Oh, oh, are you going to get, get, get the new Xbox console yeah, or the I'm new gonna PlayStation get, I'm going to get a new everything. All right, oh, Mr. Whoa, Bond, Bond, until he sells alert. it and then says, hey, Andres, let me buy that PS4 Pro from you. What are you going to buy first? I'm going to buy PlayStation. Always. Always. I'll buy PlayStation first. All right, hey, hey, look. I might try to get both of them on launch. Oh, oh, damn! damn. damn. Like when My they bad. launch. I Big mean, that's months apart. Baller, Big dude. D- baller. Big dick energy. Big. Big dick I felt it. Energy. I felt it. No, because I think it's important, <laughs> especially with like keeping up to date, and like that's the important, especially thing with what we do is like starting from the beginning and then working your way up with the console. You really get Started that knowledge. So when we talk about it, that's that's the only reason why. Mm. So when we talk about it, we have this knowledge of this history of like this for, for the for the channel. For yeah. the channel. It's for yeah. the channel. <laughs> that's gonna like be coming out of the channel's account. No, I'm just oh kidding. God, with man. the Xbox. I know. With the Xbox in the house, like, <laughs> damn, this shit trash. <laughs> Return it. Damn, this PlayStation. Get very fun. Why not buy this? Yeah. Um. So yeah, <laughs> that's it for the listener questions. Shout out to everybody who put in those questions. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. We always appreciate that feedback. We always appreciate you guys. Appreciate uh, you, motherfuckers. Uh, appreciate the fuck out of you guys always listening, whether it be on YouTube, iTunes, uh, what, other, what other services we got, Mikey? Where can they find us on YouTube? They can find us on YouTube.com forward slash Chip Tooth Gaming. That's with a capital C. If you lowercase that C, you're a bitch. Capital C <laughs> in that Chip Tooth Gaming. Capital yes, G too, because I said so. Damn. All right, look us up. We here. Uh, Subscribe while you But, Sean, I got to drive this truck full of potatoes. I can't watch a YouTube video. Where else can I find it? <sighs> you can find us on Google Play. All right. What's up, Google Play? there. I, I have an app, I, I, iPhone. Find us on iTunes. Get that we Samsung. there too. Get that Samsung. Can hear us. We there too. We there too. You got no excuse. Wear your little fancy AirPods. Walk around and check us out. AirPods who? I'm going to have that. Check Samsung us out. Uh, definitely. Uh, and don't forget. we Good down, Paul. Damn, I like I'm that. that. <laughs> when do we post? We, we, we smoothed the recording date, didn't we? We did. Right? We're going to start recording on Thursdays. Uh, we still should For be off. This for gaming gaming podcast that we're doing right now, it's yeah. we're recording on Thursdays, but we're definitely gonna still try to get out there on Friday. Yeah, Friday will be the Show new release tomorrow. date. Thank you. New release date, Friday. New release date. We're just pushing things a day back just for scheduling. Makes it easier for everybody here. So yeah, we're just still gonna do it. Just a little bit day, a little little different day. I want to okay. join the community. Where can I join the I community in conversation? Just, you better just do it now. I mean, I'm just. Go ahead. Bro, it. hit us up on Facebook. Oh, uh, what's up? Hit me we up on Facebook. Facebook group. Uh, Chip Tooth Gaming Facebook group. 
Join us there. All right, we chatting, we talking it up, we discuss this shit. Exactly, and then you can follow us on Twitter at CTG Vids. Where can, can they f- find us? You tell me, dude. Do we have find anything. us on Instagram. All right, we Instagram we, yet? It, it's yeah. there. I mean, it's CT there. But I need a. We need actually post us name? on Instagram. All right, I mean, what's the I'm, name? What's the plug? It's just CTG Vids, but I'm trying to find the. Ca- we got to make sure what we're about. Bro, we got to make sure the description's there. CTG Vids. How you spell? How you spell Vids? We about that shit. V I D S with an S, not a Z, not a Z. With an S, not that cool. cocksuckers. With an S, don't you dare put a Z there. Why did you say it, bro? I, I got it. To, in the spirit of Mikey, I'm sorry. Thank you. Bruh. What? Thank you. The so double D is contagious. Hold on, Thumble's talking. I got the it's little. Like I got the little bio. You got the bio already? Because <laughs> I was waiting. I was. I'm, I was holding off on the bio. We about that game shit. About that game shit. We about that game life. How about me? And it said spreads like an STD. Double D. Why you say it twice? Jesus. <laughs> Why you say it twice? It spreads <laughs> like an STD. Bio. So nice you said it twice. <laughs> for the bio. But thank you guys. I appreciate the closeout for Old game's here. old. That's what I was going to get to. Okay, sorry. I, Jesus you. Christ. Uh, you look like you. Checks every time stripes. you close, you look at me. Like, help me. So I like no, just try I, to. I Because you're kind of the better closer. You know, if I need a bottom of the ninth. I'm pretty good at finishing. Two outs. You know what I mean? I guess what I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call on you. Close out the game, but I guess you're not there with me yet. Right, what's going on? What the, what we got going on Mondays? I know. I'm looking at you now. Like I need help. <laughs> Bi-weekly, we Bi-weekly. got a Monday called Old Game Old. What they talk about there? What they talk about? It's not even us. So all right, <laughs> it's not even us. Uh, yeah, what they be doing? It, if it's not us, it's who is Eli it? Eli Shaw and Noah Frescop doing okay. Old Games Old is a retrospective gaming podcast. They look back at some old games and they reminisce and they say what they loved about the games and there's like a lot of um editing and like it's almost like video essays inlaid into the podcast it's they, good shit they looks go really deep. good they, they go deep they go deep so you like deep. that old shit old shit they be talking about like <laughs> they go talk about old laser shit. shoot larry we talk about that game shit we'll talk about nostalgia because i was talking to ricky my guy over here um from pie dreams we were talking about nostalgia a lot like those nintendo 64 games that it's all good it's not a paid sponsor <laughs> you ate his pie. I <laughs> just kidding. I did it. Delicious. Pie. Uh, but uh, pie it's again. a cool, definitely interesting yeah, conversation really to talk about. I mean, when you get that nostalgia feeling of a game, that's what you want to listen to. So, shout out. Yeah. Shout old out. Games old. old games old. And thank you. That's gonna be <laughs> this week's episode. Appreciate you guys watching, listening, all that good stuff. We appreciate you. I don't see a red dot. I'm confusion. What do you mean? Red dot where? Do we need a red dot? What are you talking about? What, what the camera had a red Oh, it's right there. It does. Mind. Fuck. Keep Man, that in there. I'm leaving this in. <laughs> Please, because I'm looking at I straight up looked at the camera like, wait, where's the red dot? We're oh, not recording? Andres. Fuck. What are your glasses? You gotta work on your address. <laughs> I got the intro down. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Ben See you next time. See you next time. I'm <laughs> oh, my daughter. You can me at Jesus underscore Junior. You should just have oh, like the sound damn. of the windows turning off. I totally forgot about that. Off. I totally do, forgot do, about that. You follow. <laughs> Chicks Junior. <laughs> so late. I it really is. My bad. You guys. can follow me at that kid flower. I'm gonna plug myself. Please, I totally forgot. Tumble Vlogs. You can back follow there. Tumble Vlogs at Tumble Vlogs. You can follow Compa Andres. Uh, Compa Andres. At Compa Andres. Yee, yee, yee. Don't follow Cheeks, you got no followers. So yeah, super cuts. <laughs> super cuts boy over here. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. See you next time. <laughs> do, 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 do.